Today, we will talk about how to save paper. Let's have a look at the details. Trees are an essential part of the planet's ecosystem. They provide oxygen, clean the air, provide shade and food, and they're used as homes by many different creatures. To create paper and other wood products, millions of new trees must be planted each year. Even so, logging can be very destructive to the environment if it pollutes nearby water, leads to soil erosion, contributes to habitat loss, and uses a great deal of energy. To help reduce logging, there are many things you can do at home, school, and work to cut down on paper consumption. The first method is finding paper substitutes. Use reusable cloths instead of paper products. Around the house, a lot of paper is wasted every year on things like paper towels and napkins. Use real dinnerware instead of paper. Paper plates and dishes may be convenient, but they aren't good for the environment. Most paper plates just end up in the trash, meaning the paper isn't even recycled properly. Use paper from other plant sources. There are times when it's simply not possible to avoid paper-like products. Hemp and bamboo are another species of plant that can be used for alternative paper products. Bring your own thermos or reusable mugs to cafes. Disposable paper cups from cafes and restaurants are another way that lots of paper is wasted every year. Use reusable grocery and lunch bags. Many groceries stores provide paper bags to pack groceries. You can help your family save paper by investing in reusable grocery bags. Send e-cards. Instead of sending paper greeting cards to all your friends and family in the mail, send electronic greeting cards for future celebrations. Read e-books or library books. Printed books are still made with paper so you can save paper by using public versions of books that are available at the library, or by reading electronic copies instead. Use computers instead of notebooks for school and work. That way, you don't have to rely on paper notebooks, and you can always have your notes saved to your computer. The second method is cutting down on paper products. Don't use products that come with excessive packaging. To help save paper, buy products that have been made with minimal or no packaging. Dine in instead of using takeout containers at restaurants. Another large contributor to paper waste is takeout food containers, which are often made of paper products or packed in paper bags. Be selective about what you print. At home, at school, and at work, you can save paper by cutting down on the amount of material you print off. Before you print anything, Ask yourself if you really need a paper copy, and only print something if you must. Send, receive, and store electronic records instead of paper copies. Opt for paperless communications. Whenever possible, sign up for paperless communications for items like bills, newsletters, monthly mailings, flyers and coupons, and newspaper and magazine subscriptions. Use electronic calendars and day timers. There are plenty of free calendars and schedulers available online that you can use. Encourage others to save paper. To have an even bigger impact, you can also encourage friends, family, classmates, and co-workers to save paper as well. And, the third method is recycling and reusing paper. Buy recycled paper products. There are paper products available that are made with recycled paper, which means that no new trees were cut down to make those products. When you do have to print or write things down on paper, use both sides of a piece of paper. Turn old paper products into crafts. You can use old newspapers, notes, cards, and other paper to make things like origami, wreaths, paper flowers, paper match, and dolls. Recycle paper you can't reuse. When you do have paper that you can't reuse or repurpose, make sure you recycle it instead of throwing it in the trash. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.